ar rahman ar rahim I start in the name of Allah, the ever merciful, the ever merciful, and the everlasting curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, peace and blessings be upon you and welcome to is Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, talking about some of the events and stories happened to him during his holy life, mentioning some of the prophetic quotes said in his right by the Prophet of Islam, and then ending up with his unique, unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in today's episode, we will talk about Imam Hussein's messenger and representative sent to Kufa, Muslim bin Aqil, and his capture in Kufa. Our respected viewers, after mounting a valiant defense, Muslim was severely wounded and captured so far. He taken to the palace and made to sit with his captors while awaiting the tyrannical disbeliever Ibn Ziyad. As the man drank water, Muslim asked for some of them. First one of Ibn Ziyad's men shouted abuse at him, but eventually another called for a jug of water and a cup for Muslim. Yet Muslim, our respected viewers, had been so badly injured that whenever he tried to drink from the cup, his blood would run into it, rendering the water impure. As he made his third attempt to drink, one of his teeth fell out into the cup. At this, Muslim bin Aqil praised Allah and said, If it had been a provision granted me by Allah, then I could have drunk it so far. Believers, our respected viewers, should not be amazed only by Muslim bin Aqil's patience in the face of injury, oppression, and imminent death, but we should seek to emulate this patience in every aspect of our life so far. For indeed, if Muslim bin Aqil alayhi salam could display courage and patience even in this most dire of situations, then how is it that when we encounter the slightest problems in life, we are shaken. Perhaps the answer may be found in the fact that if everything Muslim did, he did it for his Imam. In a reference to Al-Husayn bin Ali, if we as Shia followers of the Ahlul Bayt can refocus the meaning of our lives around this blessed figure appointed by Allah the Almighty to lead the community, then perhaps we can display some of the incredible character of Muslim bin Aqil, Imam Hussein's messenger sent to Kufa. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born and when you were murdered and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Until we meet again, let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret the message of his grandfather who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته